Hello everyone, this is Nick. In our last Amiga review, I brought you a rather poor driving game which was uh, outrun a terrible conversion. So this time, yes, we bring you Days of Thunder, based on the film with the same name, published by Mindscape in 1990. Music was quite good there, I'll give it that. But the film Days of Thunder by Paramount Pictures featured Tom Cruise as the NASCAR driver Cole Trickle. Now, the problem with this game is it moves ridiculously slow. So I've set it on as low cars as I can get and as low details as I get to try and up the uh, sp speed, but it's a fruitless task. Based on the NASCAR series and the film, but the problem with this is it just doesn't offer enough variety. There's my car. Let's go and qualify first of all then. Hang on to your haircuts, the speed of this is amazing. We've got manual gears up to five, banked corners. Now the idea of this game is you try and qualify as high up as possible, and then by finishing in the top three each time, you go to the next race. But as soon as you do, you think, why have I bothered? Because the next race track is probably another oval, and they all look very, very similar. Anyway, doesn't really capture the speed here, it's like I'm going round on a mobility scooter or even slower. This game originally came with the Amiga, which I bought it, I had a few games with it as well, um, none of them were that good, and this one tops it up. Qualifying position 4, well that's not very good. Uh, yeah, so let's see how far we can get with this. Also come out on the Atari ST, Commodore 64, DOS, the Game Boy, the mind boggles how it looks on that, and the ZX Spectrum, but any of those other versions, it can't go much slower, so they can't go too much far wrong than that. Now in this game, you there's a number of selectable views also, but the only one worth bothering about is this forward one, because the rest are pretty hopeless. You can cycle through those by using the F keys, so at an opportune moment I'll probably dive into that to show you. I think you have an unlimited amount of practice laps, but uh, we'll keep this short, so we do the minimum laps required in the race, qualifying position 4th again, oh dear. Could have up to about 30 odd cars I think in this, but um, if I do, it'd be like one frame an hour, and it looked like the computer's crashed and we'll never actually complete a race. I don't know what was going on here, but um, if you're trying to get into NASCAR racing, it's a struggle. But don't get into it based on this game, because look at this speed. What are we supposed to be doing now? About 100, 200? Hopelessly slow, not very exciting. Replay value, very low. As I said, come with my Amiga 500 when I got it back in the day. With another game, I think, called Nightbreed. So we're in pole position, hooray! Can't wait to see the race. But uh, this is low resolution mode. On high resolution, not much changes. Uh, you can see stands around the back there, and a bit more detail to the cars, but not much. They look a bit like the cars from Hard Driving, to be fair. 1990. I haven't seen the film uh, Days of uh, Thunder. That was that was another angle which is useless. I haven't seen the film Days of Thunder. To be honest, I don't think many people have. If I was on the quiz show Pointless and the subject was um, Tom Cruise films, I'd probably say Days of Thunder, hoping that no one else had said it. If you've never seen the programme Pointless, that's a crappy reference, so ignore it from your mind. How does this look on the ZX Spectrum? Pole position still, well, I think we're going to quit out of this soon. It's pointless to keep driving round. So there we go. So we qualified for the race of six cars. Well done, well done. Was it worth it? I don't know. Rowdy Burns in second place. He's our main rival, or he is in the films, I have heard. Right, so there's six of us. We have to do half a lap. Oh, I switched to manual control. Didn't need to do that. That car in front of me is the pace car. So we do half a lap under this. As soon as that flag goes green, I can accelerate. If I overtake the pace car, then I'm disqualified. So it's not really worth it. If I hadn't touched the joystick there, it would have done this manually for me. And I could have gone and had my lunch and come back again with the speed of this thing. Deary me. Who knows, with a souped up Amiga 1200, you might be able to get this running at a, a decent rate. But it's, it's, well let's face it, it's rubbish. Is it better than OutRun? Well yeah, because it's like 3D graphics. But if you compare it to Formula 1 Microprose Grand Prix, try it with the same idea, it, it falls miles short. 
Right, bank corners, let's drop into fourth gear, not sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, so the, the basic views, re reverse view is quite interesting if you see people close to you. That's a useless view there. I don't know why you'd want that view where you see yourself. Oh, I've gone a bit slow there. So that black car's gone past. Is anyone else going to go past around the outside? Yes. That's Rowdy Burns, I think, number 42. Oh, someone else giving us a bit of aggro. Now, the flaw with this game as well is, on the lowest amount of laps, I think we're doing six, there, all the other cars will make pit stops. We don't have to make any pit stops because um, we don't. So I'm probably going to win if I just keep it on the tarmac. In second place, that black car had a bit of problems. So I think it might be out the race. So you do get car failures, although yours doesn't seem to have any problems. I haven't had the confidence to do more than six laps. You can go up to about 200. Can you... Can you imagine doing 200 laps of this? Your brain would melt. Now back in the day, although I've sl slated this game off, back in the day I did play this quite a lot only because I wanted to see what the next race would be, the next race track. And the idea I think is to progress to the Indy 500 track and then win that. I don't know how many tracks that is away, five, six maybe? But I should come in the top three here so I'll show you two or three tracks you can see if it really worth the difference as a green car goes past so um, yeah Gran Turismo this is not but Gran Turismo didn't come out of the Commodore Amiga that's future technology for you so it's important to see these games to see how games have developed going forward um, this is quite early and it wasn't a good example at the time either so very backward Steering is a bit awkward also. Cars are blocky, but I can forgive that because of the era. A bit hard driving-ish. Oh, seem to be gaining some ground on this chap. Yeah. That, yeah, that sound effect is a bit iffy as well. A bit standard. Bish, 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 bish. Hmm. Oops, I've driven off the circuit, that isn't good. Drop down the gears quickly. Yes. So there were six cars in this, I don't know how many are left at the moment. Are you excited? Well, well done. If you watch the whole of this review, then well done to you and it's appreciated, but this is tough going. I can see what they were trying to do. Do you think it would be better if, if it moved up five times as fast? Would it be a decent game then? Would we all have thought it was fantastic? Don't know, I mean, ima imagine it, you, know, you have to use a bit of imagination. Imagine 30 cars going around about four or five times quicker than I am now. That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? That'd be quite useful. But I don't know what the frame rate is on this at the moment, but it's quite low. If you was driving along in the street, how, how fast would you have to drive to get this effect? 20 miles an hour. So we're essentially driving around NASCAR at 20 miles an hour. Brilliant. Oh, that is brilliant. How many laps have we done so far? I'm losing count. There must be a button so I can do uh, an in display. You sure a sort of map of the course on the um, on the qualifying lap seems to have disappeared on this one. It will be nice to see that where all the competitors are. So I feel a bit devoid of... Oh, 42's coming past Rowdy. So I feel a bit devoid of actual interest. Where is she, where's the excitement factor? You can't see where anyone is. You can't see the time gaps. You can't see, the tra you can't see a map of the track. It's an oval, so it's just always going to be the same turn. Uh, a very bad game. Good music though, uh, the shading on the dashboard isn't too bad I suppose what there is of it, but where's my steering wheel? I don't know. Please end soon. I won't make any pit stops, because I want to get to the next track. I hope you've been counting how many laps we've been doing, because I certainly haven't. Have you seen the film Days of Thunder that this game is loosely based on? I have not. Have you seen it? What happens? Does Tom Cruise, as the character Cole Trickle, does he actually be successful? Or does he just stall the car in the first race and not qualify? Is it a short film or is it a long film? 
comment below. Let us know something good must come of this this enterprise. Or, in fact, have you played it on any other computer version? Does it run the same speed as this? Is it any better? Is it one of those rare occasions where the 8-bit consoles computers are better than the 16-bit? Does that happen? I'll have to track it down on the ZX Spectrum, I think. <laughs> if it's available. I, d I bet they've all been burnt. Right, are, we, are we lapping that black car or are we catching it up for the lead? Don't know. Don't even know what position I'm in. Poor. Poor show. I don't know if anyone else... Yeah, probably other people have reviewed this game, I would have thought. Does anyone given it a good review? Has anyone loved this game? Congratulations, you finished in position one. Well, first place would have been grammatically better, but fair enough. Let's go to the next track. Where could that be? Somewhere looking ideal. Right, Atlanta Raceway. They've changed it by making the grass a different colour and giving us a pink and blue sky. Length 1.5 miles. Let's qualify. And it's another oval. I think it's a tighter oval this time, so we have to slow down. So it's a bit more technical, but um, extremely similar. Now, the only advantage I can think of on this game with a, a shorter track is that it's not going to take as long to do it. Yeah. Couldn't get away with this sort of game nowadays. Oops, I've bashed into the side. Where's my damage meter? I think they're supposed to be like Stunt Car Racer. There's a crack that goes around the top of the um, dashboard. <laughs> See, I crashed into the barrier and still got qualifying position second. But anyway, it's supposed to be a crack that goes around the dashboards and it goes to the end, then you're out. And you have to make a pit stop. But I don't know how good my tyres are going. Is that a factor? Who knows? So you have to be quite dedicated on this to get to with Indy 500 or have maybe nothing to live for. So apologies, um, last uh, game I reviewed on the Amiga was Outrun, which is a terrible conversion, and now immediately I give you Days of Thunder. Pole position! But hopefully it's of some interest anyway, as I said, seeing how games develop going forward. It wasn't really a game to bundle with a new computer to let you know what the thing could do. What were they thinking? I think it came with Deluxe Paint 2 as well, so not always lost. There's another one. It might come with Shadow of the Beast 2 as well, which is a quality game, which I haven't reviewed yet, so um, I might have to practice on that and bring that up. Shadow of the Beast 2. Fantastic. I had Shadow of the Beast 1 as well. Shadow of the Beast 3 I had, but didn't play it too much. We've qualified in position 1. What a surprise. Rowdy Burns is second. So look at those times. We're three seconds quicker than Rowdy each lap, but I bet you he goes past each time. Now, I don't want to touch the joystick because I want the computer to do this half lap for me. Cycling through the views. There's me. Never do that view when you're driving. Back straight. Look at them go! Sorry about the speed blur. Bank 2. Here they come. At alarming speed. Oh my word. If I put my head out the window, my face would probably collapse. Grandstand, but we're on low graphics. Skycam. Phew. I'm not being sarcastic here, but this is awesome stuff. Pink sky. At night. Or is it daytime? Back straight. No one's there. Bank 2. Here we go. Now we're cooking. I don't know who all these drivers are. Trackside, if you were lucky enough to have a ticket. More grandstands with no one there. Right, green. Floor it. Floor it, big nose. Here we go. I don't want anyone going past me up the inside. But this is a this is a tricky first bend, so someone might dart round. Hopefully they don't. Yeah, we're doing going quite quick. No one's going to dart round, are they? Some tricks they might do. Oh, Rowdy Burns is through. Number 42. Curse you, Rowdy. Oh, someone else is having a go at us. I like that white rear windscreen he's got. It's going to make him hard for seeing out the back if that's painted. The bloke's an income poop. Someone else through the green car. Boo! But we all know they're going to pit stop at some point and I'm going to take the lead. Oh, he's, he's slowed down. Is his car broke? <laughs> We've got him way too shallow. No, no, no. I think we got away with it. Where did he come from? We'll get him on the inside, hopefully. There's no slipstreaming in this that I'm aware of. 
but it's a bit hard to slipstream when you're only going about 20 miles an hour. Oh, boom. Oh, lost a lot of speed there. Let's drop down the gears. So we're immediately in third, fourth place. Oh dear. Well, at least we're not last. As that custard coloured car goes past. So we're not in the top three. So as things stand, we're not going to qualify for the next race. Maybe they're all pit stop. Where's my lap counter? I think there must be a button at least to get the lap counter up all the time. So third place is still in sight. We keep an eye on him. Come on, let's pull him in. Nicely done. Although in slow motion. Oh yeah, look. We've got a good run off. <laughs> yeah, we've got a good run off that. We're past him. Don't know what speed he was doing. Perhaps he parked it. I can still hear him bashing into my car. Which is very unsportsmanlike. Publish my mindscape. Did they have the nerve to show their face out in public again? Well, they've got away with it. Boom. Oh, we seem to be catching up the custard man. Is he going to go for a pit stop? Yeah, we can get him on the outside. I think he, he's disappeared. I think he might have gone into the... Oh, no, there he is. Am I getting better at this game? I hope not, because that means I'll have to keep playing it. Oh, we lost a bit of ground there. That's not how you take a bend, for sure. Oh, please may this be over soon. I'm in pain. Actually, I think I prefer Outrun, to be honest. Had good music. This had good music at the start, but now it's getting a bit whiny, just listen to the engine sound. What car sounds like this? None that I know of. In fifth. I'm not sure there's an option for manual gears, but if you... Sorry, automatic gears. But if you had automatic gears, then you'd have nothing to do whatsoever. My uh, my participation in this is minimal, so just judging the, the corners, driving around, but there's quick reflexes you thought would be important in a, in a racing game, but not on this one. You can be as slow as you like and still be okay. Everything is going very, very slow. Very slow. Yeah. How much longer we got to go? What position are we in? Why do I care? I might deliberately crash. I'm going round in circles every day. Circles. It's a very, very tight track this. Only one and a half miles. And it's one and a half miles of absolute joy to behold. Are you still with me? You're still watching? Well done. Comment below something. I don't know what. What did you have for lunch? Do that. That gives us something interesting to talk about for a couple of seconds. Hmm. I think a, I think a baboon could probably be... Uh, just as good at this game as me. Or even an elastic band just tied to a joystick that's pushing it right the whole time. Oh, I'm excited to see what the next track's like, are you? Did you say no? Well, what's up with you? Have you got no sense of adventure? Maybe that's a problem. Maybe you have. Maybe you've got a short attention span. Hooray! Congratulations, you've finished in position one. Well, I've won two races. You think I'm excited. Welcome to Phoenix Raceway. It's all a bit brown again. Is it? Right. Doesn't look like it's a bank curve. Let's qualify. Do you know, I'm not sure I can be bothered to qualify. I think my joystick's bust as well, is it? Oh, it just goes round in circles again. It's not banked, that's the main difference. But, uh, yeah. I think it's maybe time to call this a day, deliberately blow up my car and um, retire from racing completely. I know, it'd be all over the news. Quit! Yes. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one for nostalgia reasons. Um, please remember to rate, comment and subscribe. 
put your thoughts below. Thanks for watching again. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.